Well, the first weekend of the Olympic Games is in the books, and the U.S. has some big wins to celebrate. Our own Aaron Nolan has the story for us now live in Pyeongchang, South Korea. How's it going, Aaron? Well, John and Lauren, a party just kicked off right next door. If you can hear it, here, I'll do this. An amazing South Korean, I, I don't know what it is, it's, it's great, it's fantastic. That's just a preview of what you can see on the Today Show. They stopped for me, I think. So thank them, or they stopped for Dayton, rather. How about that, John and Lauren? Uh, yeah, we were talking about a big day here in Pyeongchang. Starting on the ice, the ice behind me, that team competition, the USA in second after day one fell one. They ended up with a bronze. And Adam Rapon did his thing. Everybody's looking forward to what he's going to do on the ice. He did a very good job finishing in third place in his run. The team got bronze. Here's Rapon after the competition. So happy with how I skated today. Um, just an incredible, amazing feeling to really, you know, I, I've been dreaming of this moment to be on Olympic ice my whole entire life, and I'm, I'm so glad I was able to have a good skate for Team USA today. Adam back on the ice with his short program on Friday. From the ice to the slopes, the weather has played a factor. It's been relatively mild here in the coastal cluster, but if you move up to the mountains, things are extremely windy, causing a few postponements. Three events has been postponed, but the U.S. was able to get a gold, and it was a repeat gold from Sochi. Jamie Anderson got that gold snowboarding slope style. How about American team Chloe Kim? Of course, she is a hopeful for gold in the half pipe. She did very well in her qualifying run today. Curling kicks off on Valentine's Day coming up in just a couple of days, but I had a chance to check out practice, and I was actually there to look at a Swiss athlete. That's right. This is Dominic.